it's Madden NFL 24. And we'll get a look here at wideout A.J. Brown. He's putting together one of the better seasons in league history. It's the Eagles and the Giants, and it comes your way next. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. But straight ahead, we've got a rematch from last year's NFC Divisional Round 2 as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and a Merry Christmas to everyone out there watching. Thanks for joining us on this special day. Partner, Merry Christmas to you, and what an afternoon of football we should have in store here. Two great rivals in the NFC East doing battle here in Week 16. And how many times have they gotten together and big stakes were out there for either team? I remember way back when, when Philadelphia had to beat the Giants twice and end up going on and winning an NFL championship that season. It's the second of three on this Christmas day with the Giants and Eagles, and off we go in Philadelphia. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Well, here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. And he just continues to throw touchdown pass after touchdown pass, leading the league here down the final stretch of the year. Guys will say that the numbers and rankings, they don't matter to him very much, but I don't know how much I actually believe that. Sure, he's team first, but I think everyone would like to see him finish number one, including himself. To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver. And as this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. Touchdown, Philadelphia! A.J. Brown. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Eagles need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. And the Giants ready to go now on offense, and under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost yeah. like basketball, where both teams press, and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. We take a look at his numbers on the ground last week. North of 100 yards, the two scores, and you know, you gotta give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what, he understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. But Charles, as we've covered, they've already clinched their spot in the postseason, so now they just want to avoid adding any additional names to this list before the postseason begins. Terrific observation because trying to move up a, a spot, I don't know if it's worth it. If you're and the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they'll have a short field to work with inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. 
In this case, it's all about creating turnovers. That's all they preach. All game long, all practice long, every meeting, get the football. And he's in. Touchdown, the Eagles. DeAndre Swift, his 16th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups, check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. You look at this Eagle defense. They were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. One thing you always look for when you're evaluating a defense, how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get? How about last week's game? The number was six. <laughs> Phenomenal performance. And Jones will hit the deck here, and he is able to pick up the first down. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Now Jones. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Can we get some forensics done here? Because I need to figure out. Put on that ball? Yeah, on the ball, <laughs> on the guys carrying the ball. What's going on? Back-to-back -back drives. Back-to-back -back fumble. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there. 26 yards. And the Eagles have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term, they just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Elliott good with a PAT, and it's now 21 to nothing. So how about this for a start? 21 nothing here in the first as they kick this one away. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. As the Giants head back out there, let's take a look at the playoff picture in the NFC. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They'll go to Barkley again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. On is Jamie Gillen to punt this one away. Boston Scott deep for Philadelphia. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This is taken at the 15. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And they will take over first and 10. After 
Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the yep. NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said when we mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset them a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one. And I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They are guarding against the upset. Second down. Here's Hurts. This will be caught once again by Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. Looking here for Smith downfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 44 yards. And the Eagles are able to stretch out their lead. Boy, CD, what a start for them. Still in the first quarter, they're absolutely blitzing them. All the points that they put up, I'm not sure what you say on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this, partner. The way that they're playing, there's no limits on what this lead could become. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. So this not what we expected. 28 0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. The New York set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Throwing Jones. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. And defense, they're blitzing here. Jones. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys will take over at the 14-yard line in the red zone. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option way. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Eagles have taken a five-touchdown lead. A first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing, and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it is stealing it and scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. There. Elliott good on the extra point, and a round is on here in this first half. So plenty of fireworks here early. 35 to nothing now as the kick is away. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units, and they kind of put the... Jones hit, and the ball's held. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. 
points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Throwing on third and long. Jones in trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simply a merciless pass rush every step of the game, and that rush earns a crowning achievement there. So free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Taken in at the 11. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated, they both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Bulldozes past him, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big time gain there on the keeper, Utah. First down. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Hurt's going to keep it again. Fighting through at the 25. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles continue to pull away here in this first half. Elliott on for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. And New York set to take the field. And now their hill to climb has gotten taller. They had the safety last time they had the football. That led to the touchdown a moment ago. So that deficit going in the wrong direction as they try to right the ship here, first and 10. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. A defensive-minded coach loves to bring the heat, brought the heat there, and it worked out. And nowadays, all those defensive-minded coaches, for them, it's all about getting the football. I went into one facility. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a 23-yard run. And the Eagles have widened the gap now to 50 points. 
Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback. The ability to run the ball fearlessly. And in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Elliott good with a PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't open. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Problems there on the option and a costly turnover. Yeah, partner, you know how we watch practice sometimes and we see those drills where the quarterback's running with the football and they're swinging pads at him and the brooms are out and they're trying to poke at the football for ball security. Touchdown, Philadelphia! DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles are pouring it on. Well, it has been the passing game that's really been responsible for much of the scoring so far, but let's not forget about this running attack. They're pretty good, too, as evidenced right there. And I think, Brandon, the fact that they've thrown the ball so well contributed to that touchdown because that was a defense that was really keyed up to cover those receivers. All they wanted to do was blanket them. They didn't have enough men in the box to stop the run, and you saw the end result. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. Ball in one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Now second and nine. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Runs through the contact. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 64 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. It'll be Hurts on the option. Down at the two. Broke through the first contact, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Hurts going to keep it again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Eagles have got it on cruise control. This is becoming quite the half he's had here. Remember in our pregame meetings, they talked about wanting to run the football and staying with it. Well, when you're scoring this many touchdowns, there's no reason to go away from it, is there? They are off to a fantastic start. They hope it continues. Three already for him. Elliott now to have the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now, 
after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And the Giants ready to come out now. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your pants. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 38, Jones. And that one complete to Hodgins. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A gain of nine yards. First down, Giants. Looking to throw. Jones gets this out to Saquon. Barkley hit, and the ball pops free. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. Throwing again on second down. Jones, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback. Well, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Bobby Okereke running in and bringing him down. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. But first down, Hurts. Airing it out deep for Smith. That is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Here's second and ten. Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. But that's just a minor blip here in what's been a thoroughly dominating performance. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions. And now, worst of all, you give the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield. Jones, a final shot before break. That one deep for Hodgins. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So we've reached halftime here, Charles. All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late-season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. 
Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have for him. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And they came out of the locker trailing. Not a good way to start this second half with their first drive. Can't imagine that the discussion at halftime encompassed this at all. In fact, I'm sure they talked about, okay, kind of wipe the slate clean, start the second half, and let's go out and play the way we know that we can. That's not a great example of it. They didn't envision that. He's got a man complete. Touchdown. Olamide Zacchaeus, 33 yards. And the Eagles take the forced fumble and convert it into six points. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. Now out come the Giants. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? Jones hit, and the ball's out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they're going to take possession of the football inside the 15 at the 14-yard line. It was a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Swift going to try up the middle. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift with touchdown number 20 of the year. And the Eagles are able to capitalize on the forced fumble by turning it into six points. Well, familiar refrain, a turnover leads... of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for Philadelphia, it's another win for them. And you wonder if they want a redo on that one loss as they sit now at 14 and one. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Jets, 